wasn't thinking about doing a video on this one, but then the internet was weird about it, and now I have to. That's it. That's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda. You're watching Swell Entertainment, and today we are talking about tunnel talk. Tunnel TikTok. Hi, editing Amanda note here. You're gonna hear very weird skips and hops in the audio. We do not know what was happening when I was recording this video, but we didn't catch it until it was too late. And so I apologize for the audio quality. We've addressed the issue, we will get it fixed, but uh, it's gonna sound very weird, this video. We're talking about Kala, or on TikTok, engineer.everything. Kala. I can't remember if I talked about Kala or not previously. Uh, when I did my video on the frog army, I referenced the basement uh, eel pit guy, but I've never done a video on Kala and her suburban mining operation. I probably was never going to. Um, I never even followed her. She would just pop up randomly on my For You page and I'd be like, God, she's still, what is she building? That's how I engaged with her content, which is being like, this is something to do, I guess. Like if I had, if I owned my property, if you know, I had some land surrounding my property and I wanted to build a bunker for the end times, maybe I would do this, but it does just seem like one day Kala just decided to start digging. But first, let me tell you about the sponsor for today's video, Rocket Money. I don't know if you realize this, but it's the start of a whole new year, and this is the perfect time to start sorting through your finances and figuring out what's working, what's not, and really start making a dent in either debt or saving up towards making that big purchase that you've been wanting. My Christmas gift to myself was paying off my car, but I am still currently trying to save towards buying a house. Rocket Money is a personal financial app to help you cancel unwanted subscriptions, lower your monthly bills, and just overall manage your money better. Like I said, I was finally able to pay off my car at the end of the year, but when you do that, you close a credit line essentially, and so my credit score did take a slight dip. Now it's not gonna last long, but with Rocket Money, I'm able to track those numbers, and Hermes can track it too. Get on top of your finances today and join five million members that are using Rocket Money. Go ahead and click the link in my description box or go to rocketmoney.com slash swallentertainment to get started on your free trial today. Thank you to Rocket Money for sponsoring this video. It's just been over a year since I started building my underground tunnel system. This is a one year recap. In August of 22, I cut an opening off the side of the sub basement and started to carve into the solid rock. Fabricated an elevator to lift material. 1,000 pounds at a time. As the entrance tunnel stretched longer and deeper, I bought an electric yard cart and converted it into a mine cart. As it got deeper underground, I ran into a lot of groundwater and a spring which made work harder and required constant pumping. Paula was just kind of digging holes, she was sharing everything. We would just like talk about like all the bedrock and all this stuff and I was like, this seems unsafe because like this is under her home. And so my question was always going to be, surely this is going to end Badly, right? So this article is from back in November. This is from NBC News. Paula, 37, became known as TikTok. So go after she started documenting her journey of excavating below her house in October of 2022. The underground tunnel intended to be a storm shelter, though she said she primarily took on the project to challenge herself. She enjoys working on ambitious home improvement projects and previously constructed a four-story addition to the back of her home. Do we have permits for that either, Carla? Kala, who requested that her full name and location not be used due to safety concerns. So she started to think last year about adding an additional secure space to her home, which she owns underneath the existing basement. I wouldn't say doomsday bunker because I'm not really a prepper or concerned about that kind of thing at all, but I just thought it would be neat to have a little pro protective shelter area, Kala said in an interview. And so I started working on that. And it's also, it's a challenge and I live for challenges. It keeps me preoccupied and keeps me entertained. I don't know of many people who just start digging under their homes, removing bedrock, removing literal support for the, the land, okay, from below your home. I don't think that that ends well at some point because it did just seem like she was just going to keep going. It will be an engineering challenge to cover the top of this tunnel form with pumped concrete. I am planning to insert the pump hose into this huge pipe. The pipe has a Y and several holes to divert the concrete where it is needed without pressurizing the form too much. Well, it turns out that um, someone else thought the same thing. 
because Kala was shut down. A comment was left on uh, Kala's video of her, a tree that she had bought and that she was trying to repair, um, saying there's a rumor saying your mind project was shut down. I hope not. And sadly, yes, but we were working it out. I don't know how much of this I can play for you because of the music in the background. I don't know if it's copyrighted or not, um, but it's a produced video, essentially. Hello. Good morning, how you doing? Good morning. I don't know if you remember me, I'm Jack Smith. Yes. I'm a for building official. This is Jimmy Jones with the zoning department, and Brian with inspections. What can I do for you? We have some complaints, basically there's some construction going on. And we were just here. Basically, to find out if there is and see what needs to be done. So they did give me a stop work order and are requiring an immediate evaluation by a professional engineer. It is constructed entirely below the slab of my house and it shouldn't be too hard to get the permits and approval. So the thing about Kala is that she's... Um, not that type of engineer. She's a software developer, which is one thing, you know, and everyone's allowed hobbies. For example, I occasionally build Legos. I put up this janky wallpaper and including in that video as well, she's like, it's entirely under the slab of my house. It doesn't matter that it's just under the slab of your house because like you said, this is a suburban mining operation. And so the houses are not too far apart. Sinkholes, gas leaks, mains being hit. A lot of times the mains are connected to each other. When you do something like this, it can very well impact the rest of the neighborhood, if not just your immediate neighbors. And that should be something that we're talking about. And some people are trying, but then so many people are like, leave Kala alone, free my girl Kala. Which, she's, it, which is so ridiculous, <laughs> frankly. I get you want tunnel content, I can't believe I have to say that. <laughs> it's one thing to be able to do what you want on your own property, okay? It's another thing to potentially destroy the structural integrity of your property for your own safety, but then to do it in a way that also is potentially going to damage the structural integrity of your at least immediate neighbors is another thing entirely. This isn't her building a shed. This isn't an illegal roller coaster that she made in her backyard. She is tunneling under her home. She is removing bedrock. And she's had problems. She has had f a fire. She had a gas leak, okay? She had flooding. These are things that ha she has experienced that because she, she doesn't know what she's doing. What she's learning, what she's been doing so far, I will give her credit, to be self-taught is entirely impressive. We can acknowledge that and also acknowledge that this was a very foolish thing to do at to a certain degree at a certain point. Welding in a confined space can be very hazardous, especially if it's a tinderbox. I have been working in my tunnel engineering form supports and the space is full of sawdust and plentiful combustible material. Unfortunately, I have to weld a couple support brackets onto the sheet. Here are some safety considerations. First, I am cleaning the workplace, removing any loose pieces and spreading a bit of water to dampen the sawdust. Let's check Reddit because a few people have talked about this on Reddit. So this is on our TikTok gossip. Tunnel lady reported. Anyone know what's going on with tunnel lady supposedly being getting reported? I'm hopeful for her neighbors, the more oversight will happen with her project. I think she really gets mileage over misleading that she's an engineer, when in reality, she's actually a software engineer who does things like welding in a small space full of wood scaffolding and trying to glue a broken tree together with wood glue. Someone said she's digging the tunnel could be detrimental to the structure she's digging under. They don't want to find her buried under a heap of stuff because she should have dug in a different area. It's quite scary, honestly. Could be is actually more likely she doesn't have the proper knowledge or experience to know how to stabilize a structure before digging under its foundation, much less what it means to survey and inspect before designing and undertaking such a project. This is from Broken Kaleidoscope. I was on her live about a month ago. She doxed her home address by showing a magazine subscription she has. Maybe that's how she got reported. Alt Kitty said, for some reason, I had really just in 
inherently trusted that she knew what she was doing until I saw the video where she tried to save the tree with wood glue, and now I'm concerned. Like even when she was clearly not following strict safety protocols, I've been around enough skilled people to know that sometimes they know, or at least think they do, how to do things in a safe enough way, right? But that tree video may be lacking some common sense is a reoccurring theme. So this is from Nightmare Snails. Even if she did everything properly, which is basically impossible, this is a huge headache for code enforcement. It will be a long process to resolve, and I can't begin to imagine the time and money that is going to be spent mitigating this by both her and the local government. Something is really extremely unsettling about this woman. She is like something out of a nightmare. She seems to have no serious regard for how potentially fucked up she could make other people's lives from doing this project illegally. It's astounding that she hadn't been checked in on before. Bubblebump124 asked, I've asked this on a video and ended up deleting it because all the comments were people pretty much attacking me because she wouldn't do it if it wasn't safe. You underestimate people's ability to just go full force forward with the sole belief of I do what I want. I'm late to the party, but I'm able to offer unique insight. I work in mining and on the regulatory environmental side, and my husband works with building codes, and we've talked about this at length. While she's operating on residential property, IRC and building code would not allow this much excavation to occur without permits. Such excavation can cause instability of substrate and water drainage could greatly impact her neighbors. Page kept coming up on my FYP, and I would see things like she was jackhammering into something, and it would break really well, and then she got to a layer where it wouldn't break very well and she's like oh it's harder but it wasn't you could see the impact of it it just wasn't as brittle as the other rocks and so somebody told her to drill and use this mining foam right so she's doing that she has she hasn't uh put any scoring on it she has no idea what kind of rock she's doing this to she she could it could go forever like the the lack of just basic material science of the difference between if something is hard as in like abrasive hardness or brittle or whether it's going to break or not. She doesn't know any of it. I don't think she was reported back in November and that she stopped mining in November because she's been making updates since then. If it was reported back then, maybe she just ignored it until someone else came forward. I don't know. It sounds like she didn't really take it seriously or that she didn't actually stop the time until now obviously it's all come out that she's been given a mandatory work stop or notice aura bogato who on tiktok says that she is an investigative reporter writing a book about migrant children she did a few videos okay about Kala. this one is back from november 30th i assumed like if i figure out who she is then that's gonna let me better understand why she's building this tunnel and my conclusion is uh, what I started with, which is that she wants to and she can. Now, this is the video that came out in response to people being like, don't her neighbors know anything? Or do you think her neighbors are blind? No, they're, they're not blind, but they didn't know. They had no idea. Several weeks ago, after I noticed that Kayla had posted a video of one of her neighbors without his consent and that she had made really clear that her neighbors had no idea what was going on. I decided to try and figure out who those neighbors were. So I found out where she lived and I noticed that almost all of her neighbors are Central American migrants or first gen immigrants. Um, I began contacting them. Uh, most of them are Spanish language speakers and not one, not one knew about this tunnel project, really worried about uh, their health and their safety. They talked to me about noise, like tremendous noise, essentially noise pollution and shaking, like just random shaking in the ground that they didn't realize where it was coming from. And several neighbors expressed to me that they were worried about reporting anything because they don't want to get entangled with immigration authorities and they don't want to be deported. The power dynamics between Kayla and her neighbors are wildly imbalanced. I think there is potentially a risk that people, her neighbors may think 
for the same reason they haven't reported her of like, I don't want to potentially have my immigration status called into question by making an official report or having my name brought into this or anything like that, is that they may think it's better for them to claim that they haven't known anything, that they haven't noticed anything. Because there have been instances of Kayla saying that she rented a giant dumpster. She can only have it for so many days. She can only get rid of so much rock in the time that she's doing it. So there are certain things that if this is the type of neighborhood that, uh, or as describing of like the cul-de-sac style of neighborhood and then there's more houses around it. It's a, so when she says suburban, I'm assuming suburbia. I'm assuming this like a, so many homes in this couple hundred acres, couple dozen acres, whatever, you know, I'm assuming it's something like that. Like it's a track home is what I would assume, but not exactly a track home. A certain amount of noise, a certain amount of movement, a certain amount of trucks. I don't think you can ignore that. At least the, the dumpster being there for a certain amount of days, that's something that you're going to know. Notice. I believe she said it in one video that she could only have the dumpster for two weeks or something a month or something like that is like legally what she was allowed to have for some reason. I think you could know that your neighbor is doing construction or a remodel and you might not know to what extent it is. I think that's the most likely option. Cause some people are like, how could they not know? Are they not paying attention? Like there's been that leap made or they're just lying. They're being haters, things like that, which is Again, the internet's being so weird about this. This is not someone building like a little, a little, a little roller coaster in the backyard for funsies. This isn't someone like building an effing car in their backyard. You know, this is someone doing shenanigans to the structural integrity of their home and it could impact their neighbors. That's not a uh, let people do what they want. I get you want tunnel content. Flippin' goes out to. The, the, an acre. Okay. Go buy an acre, go do something else and go remote, go make yourself a little homestead and dig a tunnel out there. Okay. Because this is ridiculous. So in the comment section of this video as well, um, someone said at least with the eel pit guy, like his house came with the basement cellar grotto thing, if I remember correctly. And then Aura replied and said, not too familiar with him, but my understanding is that he's using an existing cistern as an underground pond question mark. Basically that's eel pit guy. Um, he had a cistern, that was already built into the foundation of the house that he just plugged up essentially and then filled with water and made an ale pit. It already existed in the home. It wasn't him digging one out. He converted it technically. It's technically a remodel, I think, but he didn't make something new. Okay, let's talk about what happens when you play DIY structural engineer and you build something and um, the city doesn't know about it. You're being sneaky. And when your neighbors towels on you or the city drives by and they just find out. So now they say, okay, stop what you're doing. Come through permitting, come on over. And then you have to go through these meetings because now they're a little, they're also a little mad at you now because you didn't go through the right steps. So they might make you jump through extra hoops. It's just, I don't know. It's just the way the government works. So they're going to say, where are your plans? And where's the stamp on those plans? And you're going to say, I don't have that. Let's say you have a sketch. Let's say you did. You, you kind of like wrote it down. And then you call me and you're like, hey, um, I need to go through permitting. The slab's already poured. My columns are already set in this, you know, I already have the base plates in and everything. Can you just stamp these plans? Please send them for a review and I'll see what I can do. I can't sign off on it. You didn't put enough reinforcement. The footing isn't big enough for what you need on that column. Now you're screwed. I'm going to say, sorry, uh, unless you add XYZ reinforcement, then I'll stamp it. At this point in time, Kala is still shut down. And honestly, based on what I've been seeing and from some people who either work in code enforcement or are engineers or they work in engineering or what have you, I've basically said like, yeah, with everything that needs to be done for this to be up to code, it's not like she's going to get approved. So I think she's pretty much needs to unplug all the mining equipment for the foreseeable future and that there will be no more tunnel content. Mainly I wanted to make this because I was getting DMs from friends being like, did you hear about this tunnel lady? Yes, but I've not liked a lot of the rhetoric that I've been seeing, mainly in the comment sections, but I don't know why I'm choosing to read anything into the comment sections. I don't know why I'm looking for critical thinking skills in a place on an app where there clearly isn't any, okay? I stopped reading my comment sections a while ago. Same thing with like the shorts feed comment section, just hostily obtuse is the only phrase I can really ascribe to either of these sections. I get it in our current day, individualism is like, 
the most important thing, okay? Uh, do what you want. It's your property. I only need to worry about me because the world is on fire. There's no ethical consumption under capitalism and all this stuff, okay? I get it. However, this is not just affecting Kala, okay? This is not just affecting her house. This could be detrimental to her immediate neighbors at the very least. This could be detrimental hell to her life, which even that, if anything happened to her, that's too much loss of life for a suburban mining operation so that you can have TikTok content. That is too much. One person is too much from negligence, from doing a dangerous activity. Okay, from fucking suburban mining. There was a, a gas leak at one point. There was a water leak, you know? Like there was, There's there's been fires in enclosed spaces. She is welding in places where she has, in her own words, a tinder box because she has support beams up and she is welding in the midst of these little support beams with only a phone, a camera, to be her backup, to be her spotter, to make sure there's no random sparks flying. I, that's really going to be it. There's no update. By the time this comes up, maybe there will be an update. Maybe we'll know more from Kala. At this point, the last video that she has posted was about the stopping of her suburban mine. Um, it is the end of the year. This is around the time when a lot of YouTubers do like, uh, here's what's happened in the last year. But she did that around the same anniversary of the start of her uh, mining operation. So I don't know if she'll do another one. Were you following Tunnel Girl? Have you been following the tunnel system? Did you report Kala? Let me know. Comment down below. Reminder of a podcast, the Swell Shans podcast. Reminder that Swell Entertainment is now available on Spotify. Reminder that I am now streaming on Twitch. Reminder, I have merch. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. If you'd also explore my Patreon, link this down below. Like to follow me on social media. Love you all up here. And that's going to be a have a day. Goodbye. If there's one thing that the pandemic taught me, okay, out of everything, um, it's that I can't teach someone to have empathy for someone who isn't themselves if they don't already have it. Dear Amy, Andrew, Angel, Aslan, Cameron, Corey, Donnie, Elliot, Glenn, Goth, Jasmine, Kenny, Lauren, Literal, Madeline, May West, Medic, Micah, Michael, Nathan, Palace, Pink, Cordy, Rachel, Randy, Robert, Rosie, Ryan, Sam, Skylar, Tasha, Tenzin, Thomas, Heavenly, Victor, Winter, Zwink.